Hey guys, Stealth here, welcome back to Shipyard Champions, where we build the weirdest of creations and then try and fight with them. Today is going to be no different. We are facing 20 destroyers. We were on a normal patrol during a storm, and a neutral nation ambushes the patrol. Now, we have some choices in this scenario. I can get up to 20 destroyers, but I can choose to leave some of them at home. Because as it is stated in the rules, your forces are 20 destroyers, the enemy's forces are 20 destroyers. Each ship that you sink gains you two points. Each of your destroyers that are sunk costs you two points. So it could be easier not to bring a ton of destroyers. Each destroyer that you fail to kill, however, is going to come to cost you four points. That's expensive. And each destroyer that you leave in port so that you do not bring is going to gain you two points. It's going to be very much down to micromanagement. I don't think I can micromanage 20 destroyers very well. Um, some of you might argue I don't manage a single ship very well, but that's a different discussion. How am I going to fight this battle? If I deploy... Let's say I send in all 20 destroyers. I somehow managed to kill all of their destroyers, so that's 40 points. But... Let's say I lose half of my destroyers during that battle. That would be minus 20 points, so I would gain... Eventually, I'd end up with 20 points. If I would send in... Let's say half. I send in 10 destroyers. So I immediately gain a couple of points for not sending in destroyers. That's 20 points base. Um, let's say I manage to kill half, well, maybe a bit less than half, because I only got half my destroyers. Let's say I kill eight of theirs. So that would be 16 points, eight times two. But then, oh, that's gonna hurt. I failed to kill 12. So I would lose out on 48 points. And I lose all of my DDs, so kind of the, the kills that I gained from killing eight DDs is offset by losing all of my DDs. Yeah, I'd end up with a pretty bad score. We're going to send in 10. But they're not going to be traditional destroyers. I mean, nothing ever is. When it comes to the enemy, as well as your own nation, you have a lot of choice. You don't have to pick any particular nation. The one that will not be choosing is the German Reich. Because they have weird hulls. They're not always that easy to use. US could work. Um, Soviet Union, I think, is pretty bad, DDs. Yeah, let's go with the US. I'm going to give the enemy the German Navy. Let's see if that's going to work out. Okay, so 10 destroyers. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, no, that is not what I'm thinking. This is the Johnston from an entirely different scenario. Sweep that ship. We have the advanced destroyer, large. I will not be able to dodge torpedoes anyway, so I might as well not even try and bother. Oh, I I'm, I'm minimize these things. Okay. Um, what I'm going to have to try and look out for is as much survivability as possible. And seeing as destroyers get this sort of weird torpedo negation, like they don't care about getting hit by a torpedo as much, that could help. So let's say a triple hull bottom reduces torpedo damage. You don't get an anti-torpedo blister, you're a destroyer. But this could help. Something else that could help is reduce the chance of extreme flooding. And I think this might do that. It increases flooding chance, but reduces the water spread. That's what I'm thinking. If you were to say, let's say a minus 15 drafts, you're getting reverse. You don't get as much flooding chance, but the water is going to spread much faster, which means that a ship is going to flood much faster. How about going to like 5% draft? Would give me a bit less water spread and slightly more flooding chance. I mean, I'll flood anyway, but if I can keep the water out, that would be great. I'm going to give this thing the best Auxiliary engine is possible to make sure that I get that 34.5% water pumping bonus. This is only 30%. This does make the ship heavier. Um, 
Normally, if you're dodging torpedoes, I would um, say go turbo electric drive because this thing speeds up and slows down very well. It's 200% acceleration. Uh, gas turbines don't quite have that, but they're also quite fun to use. They give you a lot more horsepower per ton because this is 2240. This is only 1700 tons. Diesels. Yeah. Um, how quickly can I get these things back online? 175% ship repairs, 40% ship repairs. Okay, we're going diesel twos. It's going to be somewhere in the middle ground. Look at that, a billion for a DD. Yeah, right. Uh, let's take this. I think steering is not going to matter too much. Shaft. Again, we're encountering this force at a thousand meter range in a storm. We will get torpedoed. Just no other way around it. You will get torpedoed. Modern armor. Yeah, why not? Now, my plan is not to rely upon my own torpedo launchers. My plan is to build gunboats. What do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. Shoot the shit out of the enemy destroyers as much as possible. So we're going to need a lot of accuracy. Which means, well, in a storm, I think only base accuracy still has any kind of effect. And then this is 13 base accuracy. This is 10 and a half. This is 11. Yeah, I think we're going with the dual gun tower unless... Yeah. Torpedo launchers have to be installed because it's a destroyer. So I'll give them one torpedo launcher. Oh, that's cute. And then maybe... <laughs> maybe not. Maybe I can add a funnel here, so it doesn't take up a whole lot of deck space elsewhere. I don't care about my engine efficiency, but there is a design requirement which says to have maximum range slider. Because we are a long range destroyer group. Well, 34,000 kilometers ought to be sufficient. Um, let's go with a Quinston's rangefinder. Again, base accuracy. Acoustics. Although, I'm not sure how much that's going to help out. Uh, I don't care about what type of torpedo I bring because I am all about the guns. And I'm thinking of 3 inch because the enemy is going to be in range anyway and I just need to pump as much shit into their hulls as possible. A 5 incher, yeah, it could work. But so this is 10 tons, this is 51 tons. And yes, this does more damage, like 148 versus 53. But in the time that this thing... Uh, I can fire twice with this four incher as a metal grounder 132 he 188 he 242 eh. tricky what about two inch two inches have absolutely no pen but you can mount you can mount a load of these on your ship Whatever, we're going to injure. This is going to go horribly wrong, but um, then again, that's kind of part of the entertainment, I guess. Anywhere these things will fit, I will place them. And keep in mind, we get 10 of these guys. 10 of these type of destroyers. Okay. Uh, now, increase their turret rotation speed, increase their ability to lay waste to the enemy, and we have a reload. Usually it just hovers over and you get a reload. There, you get a reload of less than two seconds. And that's not even counting the crew, I think. Um, does it actually take it into account? Yeah, it does. Okay. So we get a sub two second reload. Very nice. Now, considering that we're firing many, many, many projectiles, I think you can just do that with incendiary because this generally won't pen anyway. A like capitalistic. What are you going to pen? Two and a half in or one and a half inches? If. And that's, I think, with a 130% armor modifier. I'm 147. Let's say that the enemy has that too. So, general. Let's say 147. This way, I'll be able to pen. 1.3 inches of armor. How much armor can I have? One. 
So this, yeah, <laughs> this ought to be sufficient. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, this ought to do it. Um, let's make sure that we bring something that has not a very high chance of popping yourself up. I mean, Picric Acid is pretty good in this regard because I need a lot of HE damage. And Super Heavy Shells is more HE damage. It's less, uh, less safe to use. It also has a slightly higher reload, but the HE damage is there. Now, how many guns do I have on this ship? Okay. Yeah. That's a lot of shells. I don't think I need more shells. I think the standard complement of ammo <laughs> should do. Uh, triple base. What else am I going to put on this ship? Oh, barbettes, of course. Silly question. Barbettes, 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 barbettes. Guns, 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 guns. Glorious guns. There. Oh, is this a barbette space that I see? Yes. Oh, actually, it's, it could be two. You. Make room. We got more friends coming in. Come on. Guns. Guns. Uh, yeah, there's definitely opportunity here for more mayhem. No, that's the barbette. I just need to clone the gun. 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 Perfect. Perfect. 37 of these turrets. We are... <laughs> Hold on. Ammo is 1590. 1590. Okay. Times 37. I'm carrying 58,000 rounds of ammunition. Almost 59,000 per DD. So let's say the whole group of 10 destroyers is going to be carrying just shy of 600,000 rounds of ammo. Yeah, that ought to do the trick. Um, now let's armor these things up. Insofar as you can armor up a destroyer, I mean, it's mostly wishful thinking. Um, <laughs> you can't armor the gun. I don't want to upsize them. I don't want to increase the barrel length. What if I change the beam? Is that going to help me with survivability against torpedoes in any way? I don't think so. Yeah, you get less flooding chance, but oh, you get more water spread. I don't like that. What if you go minus? Yeah, I know half the things are now going to fall off the ship. You get a less flooding chance. No, you get more flooding chance, but less water spread. I mean, I'll flood anyway. I just want to contain that water. I think that's the most important thing, but... What if you go minus 10? You get minus 25 water spread for 12 flooding. The problem is, most of my guns wouldn't fit. Okay, we're not doing that. Right. I think, as weird as this ship is, this is what I'm going to sail. It's a horrible design. Uh, it's a sailing armory, like 58,000 rounds. Let's go. It's not actually that bad. We have three battle, uh, battle lines, three lines of battle, and the enemy has actually a pretty poor opportunity to launch their torpedoes. That might be very valuable. They only have six, and they got a little bit of firepower, like six four-inchers and two one-and-a-halves, and then two double one-and-a-halves. Nah. <laughs> You're gonna have to do a little better than that, Sunshine. Gonna have to do a little better than that. Um, everybody, torpedo avoidance on. Avoid collisions off. And basically, good hunting. That's <laughs> kind of as good as it's going to get. Go to about half speed. There. And unleash hell. Oh, 
We're launching torps. One down. Good lord. That's a lot of torps. At this point, I, I can barely see torps. I can just see a wall of skill coming at me. Look at that thing! Eight torpedoes? Tis but a scratch. This thing took 4,287 points of damage. It lost 75% structural. Oh no, sorry, it lost 25% structural. And sure enough, it's still flooding, but it barely cares. Oh, the Higgins has a slightly different opinion on that. I think it does matter where you take the hit. Because some might take the hit a little better than others. If you get hit somewhere in the magazine, uh, good luck. Good lord. How many shells we fired? Almost 1,400. Cool. Progress. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Converse sinking. Higgins. Is that the first destroyer that I've lost? Oh, they're torpedoing. Are we landing torps? Yeah, we are. We've landed 18 torps? <laughs> They've landed 27? <laughs> and me, or... Was that self-inflicted? There goes another one. Uh, Drayton. Detach from the div. Get back. You. Oh, this whole battle line's not looking too hot. The buoyancy, especially the upshot over here, is pretty bad. So you are going to join the retreating... Retreating what? The Higgins is going back. The Upshur is going back. The Converse is already dead. Yeah, you gentlemen are definitely going to leave. I think we can barely see targets, but somehow we're still just bumping our two inches right into the storm and hoping to hit something. So far, it might not actually be going that bad. Oh, Arleigh Burke. Please course correct. Destroyer Johnston, living up to the name. Dauntlessly sailing into battle. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Alright, Johnston. Let's go, dude. Eliminate it. Anybody else want to have a go? Yep, there's another one. Bring over the guns, and dead. Glorious. Okay. How are we doing with the other group? Because that's just Johnston. Where's Parrot? You're all the way over there. Okay. We still have plenty of DDs left. But... Yeah, you're gone. Like, I'll trade a couple percentage points in order to eliminate the enemy destroyer. And somehow the Johnston is taking a lot of hits, but it's barely registering. Maybe all that armor is paying off. There goes another one. Oh, Johnston's definitely taking more hits now. Johnston! Don't die. Dot torpedo. Johnston, smoke up. Dickerson over here is going to go in with the Arleigh Burke. And we have Eversol and the Barrett. You guys are also going in. Any other healthy guys? Oh, the Davison. Hello. Ooh, you don't want to get spotted by us, friend. Up sure, smoke yourself up. This is one of the DDs that's evacuating the place. Leaving the AO. It's getting uh, it's getting a bit wet aboard the Upshur. Also, I think all of her ammo has been detonated. Which is impressive, considering that we carry this much. I've completely lost track of how many I've actually taken down. There's another one dead. I am going to assume that they will keep launching torpedoes at me. Yeah, I'm not wrong. 
Because this is pretty much the last line. I think. This is the line that... Shit. This is the, the second line that could not launch torpedoes a while ago. Because they had a ton of friendlies in the way. Early Burke has just killed another. He's working over the V-19. Successfully. Price tag? Almost 400 million. Mine? Yeah, three times that. Engage this. So far, the plan seems to be working. I've lost maybe two destroyers, maybe three. Eliminate. Kill. Next. Last? Yes! We're done. That was all of them. Wow. That went a lot better than expected. I lost one? Would you look at that. I love it when a plan comes together. 20 destroyers at the bottom. Shouldn't have come here. I did lose a thousand men. They lost six times that though. Johnston might need some repairs. <laughs> but uh, hey, she came through. So, that's a, a pretty good score, I think, considering. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon for more Shipyard Champions.